Kevin just said that there's a buzz around the team right now. Everyone might have a little bit of trouble sleeping with a real <coughs> opening day on the horizon, real meaning there will actually be fans in the stands. Are you in that category of guys that are going to have trouble sleeping? <laughs> Yeah, I had trouble sleeping last night, so I probably anticipated it going, uh, you know, going to be the same thing tonight. Um, well, we're definitely excited uh, and and looking forward to looking forward to getting the season started as soon as possible. What's different about opening day for you, just in general, or is it just another game for you? Um, I don't know. It's always a special. It's always a special day. Um, I think because uh, there's. Just a lot of different emotions. Everybody is uh, tired of spring training, ready for opening day. Most people's families are in town, which is special. There's a lot of hope. Uh, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of projections. There's a lot of baseball out in front of you. And, um, you know, you've prepared up to this point. Uh, and, and there's nothing else. You know, you, you just want the gates to open and you want it to start. So um, it's always an exciting day. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an important day, but it's the first of many, so. We can go next to Bruce Beck. Bruce, please unmute. Garrett, what, what kind of honor is it just to represent this iconic franchise at Yankee Stadium in the home opener and to be on the mound and, and to have that responsibility? Uh, it's a very special opportunity, um, something that I don't think I'll ever take for granted. Um, you know, in this organization, every year uh, I feel like you you get a fresh, fresh, fresh slate, and you need to you know you need to go out and perform and improve yourself in order in order to keep your job. So um, you know, again, don't take it for granted. It's very special, um, and you know, looking to get off on a good good foot. Eric Bolin has the next question. Please unmute. How would you describe what it was like pitching in empty stadiums last year with fake crowd noise pipe pumped in? How would I describe it? I mean, it was, it was, it was a bit surreal at first, uh, and then it, you know, it became, uh, it became kind of standard operating procedure. There were, there were, you know, more important things that we needed to focus on, um, and it was, you know, I think we said it. A, a, a bunch at this point, you know, it's, uh, it was something that you, you didn't really realize would have as much of an impact as it did. Um, and I think that we're, we're more grateful for, for, to be able to share this experience with the fans, uh, going forward. It's something that, you know, I'll, I'll always remember. Um, and, uh, and it'll, you know, every time I see a fan or, or sign an autograph for a kid, I'll, you know, I'll remember at, at one point this was taken away from us and, and so, you know, it's very, it's very gratifying to know that they're going to be back. Uh, we can go next to Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney, please unmute. Garrett, I don't think a lot of teams have a lot of starters this year. They're anticipating <laughs> making 30 plus starts or approaching 200 innings. I think you have, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have those types of expectations for you. Um, how much of the conversation between you and Matt Blake so far has been about kind of measuring out the workload in the early going to make sure you're strong at the end? Uh, you know, we, we touched on it, I think, early in spring, kind of with all the rest of the, you know, meetings that you check off the boxes. And I, I think we just kind of got on the same page from expectation points, you know, expectation-wise. Um, and, and we really haven't touched on it since. Uh, I think – the smartest thing to do is is really you know it's cliche but but take it one step one step at a time one start at a time and see how the player's feeling and and um, and I'm sure there'll be some I'm sure there'll be some strategies there'll probably be a little bit of a tighter leash early but you know there's I feel like there's always a little bit of a tighter leash every year um, and I think we didn't want to put any parameters on it we didn't want to you know uh, box anything in or or, or or put anything in pen um, you know because at the end, we're looking for good performance as a group, and and if somebody's performing well, I mean, you certainly don't want to take that away from them. Not just me, but anybody else. So, I would hope around the league, everybody continues to strive for those sort of things instead of, um, you know, just reach for the stars, reach for the ceiling, get just you know, do the best you can. You feel like you might have to kind of check that competitive nature a little bit in your early going, especially uh, just to understand the big picture. Yeah, I I I think that. Um, 
I think that we're enough on the same page enough that that will uh, it'll it'll flow pretty seamlessly. Go next to Marley Rivera. Go ahead, Marley. Sorry, but it's a little loud over here. Here, when you when you we've obviously haven't seen you enough to see your entire routine with the fans. Can you walk us through what it is for you on the mound on an opening day? What the routine is like, and obviously to you, um, where your family is going to sit for the first time in the stands. Do you acknowledge them? Is that part of your routine or not? Uh, no, no I I have. I have no, um, but, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's something, it's a, I guess it's a routine that I haven't exercised quite so, quite so much within the last year. Uh, you know, you know, the, the, the bigger the game, the more people, the louder the buzz in general, in, in some senses is easier to, to just kind of block out focus and, and, and put your blinders on and do your work. Um, you know, I, I, I anticipate, I anticipate probably hearing some people, you know, cheering and, 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 and having to be a little bit fluid with my focus. Um, but for the most part, um, you know, you expect buzz, you expect, you know, just that energy that you can feel throughout the stadium. And, and you kind of, you know, I at least just let that bring my adrenaline, let that bring my you know emotions up. I'm always kind of anticipating having to push them down a little bit. Um, and uh, which, which you know, is is uh, is part of is part of what's fun. We always we all like to get you know revved up. I mean, that's that's uh, that's the beauty of it. So um, nothing like super special with the family or any or anything else. Um, I may take a peek up there, you know, after I'm done. Uh, but um, all, we're 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 all business, all business before before I get taken out of the game for sure. Uh, we can go next to Greg Joyce. Greg, go ahead and unmute. <clears throat> Yeah, he's he's gonna be here tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty special for him. Um, can't imagine can't imagine the feeling. Uh, I can't imagine what he would what he'll be feeling. It was nice to get him into the playoffs last year and, and see postseason start in San Diego. Um, you know, but this is uh, this is the mecca. I mean, this is this is Yankee Stadium. So uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be pretty fired up.